Hey guys, so I am going to show you how to create a really beautiful bronzy makeup look with like a coppery bronze smokey eye and a nude-ish lip. So let's get started. So to kick off my routine, I'm going to moisturize my skin with this Biosense Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. I really, really like this because I find that my skin gets really dehydrated in the winter and it's a very nice, I guess, thick cream, but yet it doesn't make my skin feel oily or leave a super thick residue on my skin. It blends in really, really nicely. Don't mind my red brows. I just did some tweezing in the center. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just totally forget and I'll have this kind of this really nice unibrow going on. And then I start to film a video and I look at it afterwards and I'm like, oh my god, I just filmed that entire makeup look with a full on unibrow. <laughs> so now I'm going to be using the Paracone MD Smoothing and Brightening Under Eye Cream. It's like this. I'm gonna take a little bit with my finger. I always tend to apply way too much under eye cream, so hopefully this time it blends in nicely. So they tell you to pat underneath the eye area when you're applying eye cream, um, not tug, because if you start to tug, then that can lead to wrinkles. You don't want that. <laughs> so now that my skincare is done, I'm gonna go in with some Nude Sticks Complexion. So I'm starting with our Nudies Tinted Blur Stick in the shade Medium 4. I love this product so, so much. It's definitely my holy grail. I never leave home without it anymore. It just looks so natural on the skin. It's super lightweight. It covers just the right amount and you can build it if you do want more coverage. But I typically find that just one layer all over the face provides you with just enough to remove your blemishes, discoloration, and even your skin tone. Um, if I do want a little bit more coverage, like maybe some redness around my eyebrow, um, a little bit under my eye, then I'm going in with our Nude Sticks Concealer Pencil just to add a little bit more coverage in spot areas. So I prefer doing this over wearing full coverage foundation. I find that full coverage foundation tends to look really, really heavy, and I like a little bit more of like a lighter looking coverage, either using your finger or a brush. You just want to pat it in. My brows are kind of a mess right now, so to remove your <laughs> eyes from my brow, I'm just going to quickly brush them up. Hopefully you're not as distracted now. <laughs> So now I'm going in with our Nudies Tinted Blur Stick in the shade Deep 8 and I'm going to use this to contour slash bronze my skin. So I'm just going to place it right in the hollows of my cheek and that's where I want to draw my line. I kind of like to brush my contour upwards like this, more of a draping effect. Forehead, jawline, the bridge of my nose I like to apply just to look naturally sun-kissed and a little bit in the crease of my eye and I'm using a brush go in in circular motions and blend that out as you can see I like to blend it upwards so it gives more of like a lifted effect really gotta be careful with my white turtleneck right now so typically to pick my contour shade I go about two to three shades deeper if it's in the winter and I'm very very pale and I want to look a little bit more bronzed, I'll usually go three shades deeper um, just for more dramatic effect. Notice how it gives, that gives me such a natural kind of contour and bronze effect. And then on the nose, I mean sorry, on the eyes, I'm just going to use my fingers, kind of pat that out for a nice kind of eye contour. So notice how my skin just went from like a little pale pasty to now kind of bronzed and glowy but you don't necessarily see such a huge difference from my face to my neck it gives you just like a really nice sun-kissed glow now I'm gonna go in with my brow and I'm using the shade dirty blonde I already did a little bit of gel but I'm gonna go in with the pencil looks like this and I'm going to lightly brush upwards to create short hair like strokes 
My brow hairs are super long right now, so bear with me. <laughs> They're not the most quaffed, but it's okay. I actually have never touched my brows before. I always do them myself, partially because I don't really have the time to do them. And also, I'm just one of those who are very protective of my brows. I don't really trust anyone else to touch them or to wax them. And then I'm going in with the gel on the other end to just brush my brow hairs upwards and kind of blend in the color to my brow. And sometimes if the gel gets a little bit on your skin, you can take like a brush or concealer and kind of just swipe all the way around to clean it up. And this is a waterproof setting gel, so this will keep your brow hairs in place all day. Like literally, your brows will not be going anywhere. Just like that. And then to create like my little bronzy, smoky eye, I'm gonna start with our Magnetic Matte Eye Color in the shade Fig. And this is a really nice kind of mauve brown. And I'm going to use this up in my crease. And then using the crease brush, our new six crease pencil blender, I'm going to blend that. Not too much that it jeers out, but enough that you don't really see any harsh or defined lines. Kind of just blends in perfectly with your natural crease shadow. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Um, and then I'm going to go in with our Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in the shade Copper Foil. This is my absolute to die for eye color. It's so, so beautiful on all skin tones. And I'm gonna go pretty heavy with this and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid for a fairly pigmented kind of foiled look. Kind of sheared out towards the edges and towards my crease. I love how it creates more of like this really nice wet finish on the lids. So, so pretty. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of our Magnetic Matte Eye Color with the shade Chocolate, and I'm going to apply that to the outer corners of my eye. Now I'm going to take Fig again, place that in my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take our Nudies Matte in the shade In The Nude. Apply a little bit to my cheeks, my chin, forehead, and then using my fingers, just kind of blending that out and patting it in. I love a really good monochromatic look. For my glow, I'm going to use our Nudies Glow in the shade Hey Honey, which is my absolute go-to highlighter. Just gives you the most natural, dewy glow. I'm gonna place a little bit in my brow bone, eyes. And in the inner corners. And then for my lips, I'm going to go in with our Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Rose. And then I'm going in with our Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Pulse right on top. You can even place a little bit on the cheeks. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. This is our Nude Sticks Lash Lengthening Mascara, which I'm obsessed with because it naturally grows and thickens your lashes. It also conditions your lashes so you'll never have any flaking or fallout. And that is the final look. Really quick and easy, bronzy, copper smoky eye with a nude lip, really bronzed and glowy skin. If you do want to switch up this look for more of like a fall evening look, then you can go in with our intense matte lip and cheek pencil in the shade Retro. This is how I switched up my look from day to night. So this is like a really quick 
an easy fall makeup look. A really nice kind of bronzy copper smoky eye with a really nice beautiful mauvey brown lip and bronze skin because we always want to look bronzed. <laughs> if you guys love this look, definitely comment below and let me know. Also, if you have any other suggestions on looks that you guys want to see, definitely also comment below and subscribe and give big thumbs up. So thank you guys for tuning in. Bye.